The view from Reinebringen is the most iconic in Norway and covers many tourist guides and publications. We will explain everything you need to know to have a safe hike to the summit. The Reinebringen is 484 meters high mountain in the western part of Lofoten above the village of Reine. The view is so impressive from the top that each year 10,000s of tourists trek to the summit. Today there is a stone stair all the way up, but it's still quite a dangerous hike. We will give a safety advice along the way. Start at the parking place at Reine Harbor. This is the official parking place for the hike. There is also charging stations for electric cars here. It's probably the most scenic supercharger in the world. Follow the road where you came by car. Along the road, there are several bus stops, if you travel with public transport. So when you reach the crossing with E10, turn left and follow the road westwards. You are walking on the old road, while the new one goes through a tunnel. The season for this hike is from May, when the snow was melted, to September or early October, when the first snow falls. Do not go up there during winter, when there is ice and snow. You could slip and fall a really long way. Also, the weather can change quite quickly. In the winter season of 2023, a Korean tourist nearly froze to death when he didn't listen to the weather forecast. People in the village could see his flashlight while he was trying to signal a rescue helicopter. A rescue patrol was able to get him down at some point during the night. Starting from 2023, the trail is now closed during winter to avoid more incidents. After about 500 meters, you reach the starting point of the stair. There are 2,200 steps to the summit. The stair was constructed between 2019 and 2022 by Sherpas from Nepal and replaced the old trail which had got in a really bad state after the hike became more popular during the 2000s. By 2015, it was in such a bad condition that it was strongly discouraged to hike to the summit anymore. The hike is actually quite short, with only 2.7 kilometers, but it goes up 484 meters in less than 1 kilometer. It will take you around 2 hours to reach the top. If you have never climbed a stair of that length, you will feel your legs for a week or two. It is very important that you stay on the path. The terrain outside of it is very steep. Even for being quite short, we give our yellow medium label to the hike to Reinebringen, as the stairs are not for everybody. When you reach the viewpoint, you will notice that there's not much space and it can be quite cramped on days with a lot of traffic. It goes more or less straight down on the view side, so be careful. You can go up the path further, but at this point the trail is natural and not in a great state. You might notice that a lot of people are flying drones over the summit. This is not per se forbidden, but as there usually is a lot of people there, so the no flying over crowds rule kicks in. Unless you have the right combination of permit, drone and insurance, which only professionals have, you should only fly a drone when you are alone. That's why there are no drone shots from our hike to Reinebringen. So how to get down? The same way, the stairs. It takes approximately one hour to reach the bottom. Count four to five hours for the total hike, including breaks. So that's it. We hope this video will help you to have the best experience when hiking to the summit of Reinebringen. We have other videos about Lofoten and Vesterholm, so go and check them out. Check out our Facebook or Instagram to get some hints about what will come next.